Hello my lovelies and welcome to another very exciting video. Like I cannot tell you how excited I am for this one because I cannot wait to unbox these items. And this is the biggest Chanel haul I have ever done since the beginning of my YouTube channel and since I created my YouTube channel, which is why it's even more exciting. Um, this is kind of like a big treat for myself because I've done New York, London, Milan, Paris Fashion Weeks without a break. Just before that I did a Hawaii trip which was 30 hours there, 30 hours back and before that we did a old couture. So it was kind of like you did well girl for uh, traveling for two months without a single day off and actually during the whole of the fashion month I didn't actually shop so I decided to visit Chanel Ta -da! and not just any Chanel but the one on Rue Cambon uh, which is the first Chanel boutique ever and now I cannot wait to show you what I got because actually I have a few things I have four things to show you all together so how do we start? Also, I'm sorry about my hair today. It looks kind of like it has its own life because I slept like a baby last night. Anyway, before I start unboxing, if you're new to my channel, I just wanted to say welcome. My name is Tamara and I love filming these kind of unboxing um, videos. I love, love, love fashion. I love beauty. I love traveling. I love everything uh, that has anything to do with good quality of life. So if you're like me, please subscribe to my channel. It would mean the world to me. And you can also see everything that I show and that I kind of like exhibit on my YouTube. Also on my Instagram, which is just Tamara. So as easy as that. I don't take myself very seriously. I think I'm just a little bit of an uncool creature out there. Uh, a nerdy one. So despite all of this kind of luxury stuff, all in all, I'm one big geek. But anyway, let's get straight into the fabulous life of Chanel. I'll start from this. Um, I think this is the handbag. Ta-da! It looks very small, but I promise it's not. It's wrapped so nicely. I love the white packaging of um, Rue Cambon. By the way, I'm wearing this like super festive kind of dress from Retrofet because um, this is a special video and it's a bit festive. It requires me to dress in sequence. Also because the bag that I want to show you is very, very festive and it is this beautiful Chanel bag covered in pearls. Now I was actually looking for a different kind of bag when I went to Chanel which was so sadly sold out but I have my sales associates all around the world being on the case um, and then I saw this one so I texted my London sales associate I was like what do you think because he has a pretty good taste and uh, he's my friend as well so I always ask him and I'm like what do you think about this bag should I get it? Stefan Dresti. Why the Rishlan is over sure. I texted Branko, who's my sales associate and my friend, and I was like, what do you think? He's like, I love the bag, but I bet it's way too expensive. So I told him the price, and he was like, wait, that's not even expensive. These bags are normally like so, so expensive, the one covered in pearls. So I guess I was very lucky. Inside, you can see it's like leather line, and then inside of the bag, it's like black satin. And the bag is just a little pocket. It's not too big of a bag, it's quite small, but I love it. I think it's a very, very, very special piece. And I'm very excited and very happy I've got my hands on it. It's got silver hardware, very unusual for your girl over here who prefers go all gold everywhere. And it goes with my watch though, so... Okay, I'm not so good at opening these things. Or I am, just too excited. So, really, really, really stunning piece. I am so excited and so happy to present you my new Chanel bag. I think this is the 11th or the 12th Chanel bag that I own. I don't know. I'll soon do my Chanel collection video and then you guys will know that a little bit better. Next up, I'm going to show you a pair of shoes. Very unexpected for me. I just randomly sat in the shoe uh, section while I was waiting for like uh, someone to come and help me at Chanel. And um, I saw these. And then I was like, mm, okay, it's my size on the shelf. Let me just try them tried them on and I was like, hmm, kind of like them actually, you know, 
the more I look at them, the more I like them. And I'm representing you ladies and gentlemen, like your kind of like classic ugly sandal, just in a Chanel version with the pink sole and pink tops. They have these sticky things and here as well, it just says Chanel and Chanel. And now people might think like, oh my God, such an ugly sandal, why would you get this? But it's quite a simple answer actually. I suffer with quite, not really quite bad, but painful bunions. And they're not really bad, but they are painful because I'm constantly in shoes and walking and wearing high heels and I'm constantly on my feet. So this will be very, very helpful for me during the summer because this bit here can be adjusted and it doesn't really press. I also like this kind of espadrille type, like ropey um, sole. So for me, this is just ideal shoe. It will also make a lot more sense later into this haul. I also came into the Chanel boutique for two more things, which were sold out. Did I tell you that everything I always want is sold out? It's my fault, actually, because I left my Chanel shopping to the last day, which was a huge mistake. Um, seeing that Chanel show was on the last day as well, so everyone already had bought everything before. And nothing was left for me. Sad story. Anyway, I have two more things in this haul to show you. Am I talking too fast? Okay, so let me tell you the things that are now on my wish list in Chanel. There's this sand bag, which is completely clear, with sand inside and pearls on top. Um, there's two versions, one without pearls, one with pearls, I want the one with pearls. Sold out. I'm on the list for it, so when the second round comes, I'll get it. Then there was this shirt that I wanted in two different types. One this, well, they both say Chanel. One is just white, one is just white with red or white with blue. I'm on the waiting list. Yeah, there's one more thing that I wanted and it's this pair of sunglasses. They're very tiny. When Christina heard me say sunglasses, she screamed at me because she was like, if you buy one more pair of sunglasses, I'll disown you. So when I go shopping, I will have to go without her because I don't want her to disown me because I love her. It's like a tiny pair which just says Chanel on the sides. I honestly think they're so, so, so beautiful, so smart, so chic. And I really wanted them. And there's another accessory that I also wanted and I managed to get my hands on, and I love them. And actually, ever since I bought these, I haven't worn them, obviously, but I've seen them everywhere in every magazine, like as a top piece, like I saw Gaia, Kaya Gerber wear it. Also, Christina and I randomly ran into Kaya Gerber in Chanel boutique, and no one even looked at her. We were like, wow, no one's even paying attention. That's like crazy. The earrings I got, are the ones, is this the right order? The ones that say Chanel. I think I should put them in now, what do you think? I need to disinfect them first because I always, 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 always disinfect the new earrings. I don't know if someone tried these in the store. Usually they should really clean it, but I find it like such a big deal. So I always disinfect them before. They come in two different version, like a smaller type without the, how they say in Paris, strass, like without the, the crystals. And there are these extra over-the-top ones with crystals, which are, of course, the ones I went for. I'll try and... Can I attach this to my earring just so you can see? So you can get the idea. How fabulous. Well, almost. It's just that they would sit like this. I love them. I think they're so eye-catching. So, so, so beautiful. And they're kind of between silver and gold, so you can wear them with both, which is what I love. And with my dark hair, even more so. By the way, opinions about my hair are divided you people either love it or you absolutely hate it and think i look so hideous and ugly i mean i love it because i really love the change and i love that my hair now looks so much longer even though at the moment it's not really nicely done um looks so much longer and healthier and the haircut comes nicely like you can see that it's like healthy ends and that it's really nice but I do wish I had like maybe two light highlights just around my face, just two, because I actually hate full head of highlights on me. But I really, 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 really like my hair a little bit darker. And I think it's quite unique, like everyone's going short, bob, lighter hair, and I kind of want to represent as well a little bit different type of girl on the internet. Now, if you thought that that was it from this haul, you're mistaken. Now comes something that comes from not Paris Hall. Hi. It's my favorite Chanel find ever. 
and something I'm so excited for that I couldn't even tell you enough. Something that I was looking for forever, something that is for me highly, highly, highly coveted item that I look for everywhere in the world and I couldn't find and I probably shouldn't have gotten two Chanel bags at the same time because I really should wear them more and get excited about one and then about the other. But it's very different to this one. It's more of a classic piece, something that I will wear much more I think often on daily basis, but something that when I saw I just could not resist. It's like a pre-owned piece, so it comes in this dust bag, as you can see, it doesn't come in a box, I cannot sadly unbox it in front of your eyes, but you guys, are you ready for this? Ta -da -da -da! Meet Princess Chanel. Honestly, like, how beautiful is this bag? I actually saw this uh, bag in Chanel several years ago. But at the moment it just wasn't anywhere close to my kind of shopping lists because I think I it was just when I bought the Louis Vuitton light pink twist bag and I was like, I just bought a pink bag, I'm not gonna buy like a classic Chanel in pink. And then I saw this and it's literally unused, pretty new. Besides a very, very light few scratches on the hardware, the bag is absolutely immaculate. Doesn't have any corner wear, anywhere wear, like I cannot see any leather wear. It's caviar leather, so there are no scratches that, well, I cannot see a single scratch. Literally looks like pure perfection inside as well. Very, very, very new. Like every bit of it looks very new. I don't know what year this bag is from. I should check that in. Like if there's a way. Oh, it says 2006. So quite a while, but I, I'm i pretty sure that there is actually a pink version as well in later on series. I am just very, very happy that I managed to get my hands on this because it also matches my whole kind of like philosophy of living and lifestyle and will always match my nails. And now you kind of understand as well why these came in so handy so this can be my spring summer combo actually like on a first glance it might not look like it's the same pink but the leathers are same it's just the like um material the fabric thing is a bit the bluer undertone however the like chanel logo here all the leather uh, bits are exactly the same kind of warmer tone a bit peachier pink whereas this is a bit bluer undertone does that make sense that was it for the haul. Love these so much. What is your favorite piece from this whole haul? I hope you enjoyed it. I'm so happy to have finally unboxed it because I love everything that I bought. I'm very excited to wear it all and I think I'm not going to be shopping for a little bit now because I feel like I'm all shopped out. Um, I love the best for last Chanel and I'm so 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 happy. Um, I feel like this spring and summer I'll be wearing, I have enough bags now, I'll be wearing my Kelly, my new Chanel's, uh, my grey uh, CC Trend, my white Coco Handle, like I have quite a few varieties of things to wear. And I'm very, very excited and very grateful for these beautiful pieces and beautiful finds. There are a few more things on my wish list, like I mentioned that shirt or like a knit. Um, then the sunglasses and the see-through like clear Chanel bag with sand inside and the pearls. I think that's so beautiful. So, yeah. <sighs> that will be it, you guys. Thank you for watching this video. Like I said at the beginning, please subscribe if you like to watch these kind of videos because I will keep them coming. Um, thank you for watching and I will see you soon. Bye guys!